consortium of Delaware school districts known as Brink is dedicated to leveraging instructional technology to provide students with rich and relevant blended learning experiences. To help guide this work, the consortium partnered with Modern Teacher, an educational, technology, and professional development company committed to building a bold, ambitious solution to fundamentally redesign the end user experience in the classroom. An important tool provided by Modern Teacher is a thoroughly researched rubric used to evaluate the impact of blended lessons. Lessons that blend the best of pedagogical practices in the classroom with the efficiency of information age technologies. In this video, we will show how the technology placemat can help provide learning tasks that are identified as high impact or transformative according to the Modern Teacher rubric. The Modern Teacher Blending Learning Rubric is broken up into five sections, known as components, each with its own set of subsections or subcomponents. The Modern Teacher Rubric covers in great detail the five areas above, but in this video we will only cover connections between the placemat tasks and evidence that Modern Teacher has identified as being highly effective or transformative. In the Blended Unit Framework, a teacher can use standards, content, skills, depth of knowledge, and understanding. By using Schoology's rubrics located on the technology placemat, teachers will be able to, using those rubrics, align content to learning objects and standards, and once an assignment is complete by a student, review those analytics, which will allow teachers an overview of a student's mastery, enabling them to create a customized learning path for the student and provide customized and personalized learning material for the entire class, or a group of students, or even just one student. By using rubrics, mastery, and analytics, teachers can provide students with a description of what constitutes mastery and that content, skills, and products of the unit are present and informs assessment as well as pace and path of learning. The second subcomponent under the blended unit framework is creating an authentic problem that will frame an authentic performance task. Teachers are providing high impact on the substandard if they consider choices for students within authentic problems that will give teacher options for personalization and learning through the use of differentiation and collaboration tasks located on the placemat. The third substandard of blended unit framework is big ideas. In order to have a high impact on big ideas that are aligned and relevant to standards, content, and skills, whose tasks can be found on the placemat under gathering student information and giving informative feedback. Authentic problems that will frame authentic performance tasks can be highly impactful if they help students organize the content and skills of the unit into a conceptual understanding using the tasks related to collaboration and classroom events, and that require ongoing investigation and inquiry on the part of the student through the use of Google Scholar. Subcomponent 4 of the blended unit frameworks is essential questions. Essential questions can provide a high impact if it leads to discussion or debate that must include evidence. This can be obtained if the steps in discussion, reporting, and note-taking are completed. The fifth subcomponent of the blended unit framework is interdisciplinary connections, which are highly impactful if evidence of interdisciplinary connections are found in standards, content, and skills, lesson experiences, and performance tasks using gather information combined with the power of rubrics and collaboration. The final subcomponent of the blended unit framework is 21st century skills. 21st century skills can be found integrated throughout the unit in a variety of learning experiences, performance tasks, and assessments. The use of 21st century skills promotes student ownership of the learning and these can be found in multiple tasks such as teachers use of gathering information, rubrics and differentiation using Schoology, Google and the iPad. The second component of the blended learning unit rubrics covers blended assessment plans. 
Multiple option artifacts and evidence of learning can be transformative using Schoology and Google to organize, store, and interpret a variety of evidence. If both the teacher and the student can add evidence of learning through tasks related to discussion and note-taking on the place, for all parts of the unit framework and if a digital collection of evidence is transparent through the use of Schoology and the gathering of student information to create communication among school and at home. Also, assessments are created utilizing the defined criteria for mastery in the learning continuum. They provide feedback for students and allow them to have multiple opportunities to provide mastery, all of which can be done through the use of rubrics and gathering information tasks on the placemat. Teachers must use technology, such as Schoology, to communicate specific and timely feedback to students using items such as through the use of annotations to inform their learning path. On the second component, Blended Assessment Plan, there is a subcomponent for student choice. If used correctly, it will provide high impact if it is integrated throughout in the unit in a variety of learning experience, performance tasks, and assessments. For instance, through the use of Schoology for classroom instruction and also by using multiple ways to gather student information such as mastery and polls. The use of 21st century skills, like using Schoology, Google, and the iPad, promotes student ownership of the learning. In the third subcomponent, Major Unit Assignment, it can be highly impactful if students are engaged in both digital and face-to-face -face experiences in order to complete the task, and if it occurs across a unit formatively to measure growth and at the end of the unit summatively as evidence of mastery which can be gathered through the tasks on the placemat related to mastery and rubrics. The third component of the blended learning rubric is blended learning plan. One subcomponent of blended learning plan is rigor which can be highly impactful if the learning experiences are scaffolded to help all students achieve the level of rigor identified in the unit framework. Using the placemat differentiation steps, and if digital and face-to-face -face learning experiences such as those found throughout the use of the placemat are connected to promote cognitive engagement. Another subcomponent of the blended learning plan is pedagogy. As a task-oriented resource for lesson design and development, there are no specific tasks on the technology placemat that can directly lead to a high impact or transformative learning through pedagogy. That said, the placemat can help improve the efficiency and deliberateness of the pedagogical shift that is necessary for good blended learning by enhancing direct instruction pedagogy with digital media and shortening the time needed for good inquiry and constructiveness pedagogy. The use of digital content can be highly impactful if digital media utilized is varied and used purposely to meet the lesson objectives and it is, if it is varied and used purposely to meet the needs of multiple learners. The fourth and last subcomponent of blended learning plan can be transformative if students utilize data as part of the learning process. To self-select most appropriate next steps in their learning, Evidence of students engaging in metacognition and self-actualization self-assessments and that it is a central component in the personalization and customization of learning. There are four par five parts in the fourth component, facilitation of blended learning in the blended unit rubric. The blend can be transformative if the teacher has a variety of both digital and face-to-face -face experiences planned to meet the needs of learners in the classroom. Through the use of the LMS or Learning Management System, Schoology allows for effective communication of and seamless movement between face-to-face -face and digital experiences throughout the unit. And that digital face-to-face -face learning experiences allow for student control over time, pace, path and place and that learners actively construct knowledge and understanding through dynamic digital and face-to-face -face interactions.
Another subcomponent of the facilitation of blended learning is digital and face-to-face, -face, which can be transformative if it connects and reconnects the face-to-face -face and digital experiences. Face-to-face -face can be transformative if the teacher uses facilitation techniques effectively to promote student learning, ownership, and collaboration, all of which can be done following the tasks on the placemat related to gathering student information, rubrics, differentiation, collaboration, and discussions. The fourth subcomponent, digital, can be transformative if students are able to move through the digital lessons at the place suitable to their needs. Through the use of differentiation and Schoology together, they can move fluidly between digital lessons when extension, reteaching, and further practice is needed, and students have a choice in personalizing their learning pathway through the unit which mastery and differentiation can assist with. Lastly, features and functions of platforms are leveraged, and they are transformative if In the platform, the unit created is organized to facilitate access to digital lessons and face-to-face -face resources, learning path options for students, student actively constructing knowledgeable understanding, In the platform, the unit created is organized to facilitate creating and sharing between students and or student to teacher, gathering and reporting data and other evidence of learning. It's transformative if the unit created is organized to facilitate communication and feedback between teacher and students and student to student, student choice in time, pace, path, and place. In the platform, digital lessons are organized to facilitate ease of access to digital content, ease of access to lesson resources including graphic organizers, thinking tools, and collaboration tools, multiple opportunities to show learning or present, and next steps when the lesson is complete. It's also transformative if the teacher uses the learning management system to create and share units, resources, and other tools with colleagues if the teacher collaborates and shares unit and unit resources with others outside of the district. The last and final component, customized and personalized opportunities. Effective use of student groups can have a high impact if it uses a mix of whole group instruction and small group learning to incorporate customization and personalization. Effective use of student groups are transformative if effective use of students' groups allow for student choice over time and pace, path and place. If it uses technology to organize and create and communicate groups to students and provide actionable feedback with customized and personalized next steps. The second subcomponent of customized and personalized learning opportunities is leveraging technology to support customization. It is transformative if technology assists teachers in collecting and interpreting student data, searching, suggesting, accessing, and creating options to most effectively move the district forward in the learning path, and last, delivering communication choices to students in an organized and user-friendly manner. The third subcomponent, leveraging technology to support personalization, can be transformative if technology such as Schoology and Google is utilized to create, deliver, document, and manage students' choices in learning. The final component of the blended learning rubric is customized and personalized opportunities.
Student ownership and how through the use of Schoology, it can be transformative by students using technology to be responsible and accountable for their own learning.